Here's an example where we prove lines parallel but using corresponding angles instead of alternate interior angles. Let's mark my givens. B is the midpoint of AC, so AC goes from here to here. Those are the same because B is the midpoint. Then I have these other congruent segments. Those are given the same. Those are given as the same. I want to prove AY is congruent to BZ, or not congruent, parallel to BZ. So, you could hardly ask for a more straightforward triangle congruence argument. This is SSS simply marked directly on the triangles. But will those triangles help me prove that AY and BZ are parallel? Here's AY, here's BZ. I want to show that those are parallel. Those are what I want to show. I don't know that they're parallel. I'm going to make some marks in a different color. This is my goal. Now there is a Z for alternate interior angles here. But this angle isn't in the triangles. And I don't want to use a configuration that doesn't come directly from these two triangles. I, if, I have no way of getting that these angles are congruent from those two triangles. The two triangles are, are just completely different. Or rather, let me rephrase this, this angle is not in those triangles. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use this F shape. If I look here, here's my parallels, and here's a transversal, a different one down here that goes sort of on the same side of the two. And if I could get these angles the same, remember this F shape that we see hiding in here, that's the corresponding angle shape. These angles are in the same position relative to the two vertices. They're both down and right. So if I can show that these angles are congruent, then that means these lines must be parallel. And I get the congruent angles from proving the triangles are congruent. So I have a fairly straightforward SSS argument here. I'm going to show triangle ABY is congruent to triangle ZBC. Wait, no, ABY, BCZ, sorry. BCZ. It's going to be an SSS argument. And I have my three pairs of sides. The first one came from the midpoint statement. That's not a given. AB is congruent to BC. Comes from the midpoint statement. Right here. The other two pairs of sides are givens. So there's one pair of sides. There's my second pair of sides. There's my third pair of sides. Assembling all the information I need for my SSS argument. So therefore these triangles must be congruent. Nothing new so far. So here's the new idea. I'm going to I can from the fact that these triangles are congruent deduce that these angles must be the same. This is angle YAB is congruent to angle ZBC. That's corresponding parts of my two triangles and therefore from that because these corresponding angles now it's the different sense of corresponding corresponding between these two parallel lines since these corresponding angles are congruent that must mean that these two lines here must be parallel which is my goal so therefore AY is parallel to BZ and that's because we have congruent corresponding angles. There is some potential for confusion because we're using corresponding in different senses here. Here we're using corresponding parts between the two triangles. We're saying that these two angles correspond between these two triangles. Angle A and angle B will match up if we pair up the triangles. Sorry, right there. And then here, congruent corresponding angles. Now we're using the other sense of corresponding where we have two parallel lines and those are in the corresponding position. There's some potential for confusion, but this is how it works out sometimes.